Hi, it's Rick. In one of my other videos, I mentioned that I like to make automata. For those of you who don't know, automata is like a kinetic sculpture. When you push a button or turn a knob or do something, it makes something happen. I've been making automata for a number of years, and today I'm going to show you my three favorite pieces that I've made. So this is my take on a classic theme in Automata, and that is men sawing wood. I call this piece the Sawyer Brothers, and it is actually the first piece of Automata that I ever made. You operate it by pushing down on this lever, and then they spring into action, endlessly sawing the same piece of wood. Now the piece is a uh, hand carved and hand painted. So I like to think my attention to detail is what makes my automata special. Um, the back of this piece does come off, although there's really not much to see. It's just um, a weighted lever and a wire that goes through. This was my first automata, as I said, and I've always liked it. The next two pieces are original pieces in both concept and design, and I call this one the chicken lady. And what happens is when you turn the handle, the chickens at her feet start pecking and her hand slowly goes toward the bowl of seed, and then she flings it out quickly as if she's throwing seeds at the chickens. Again, this is all hand carved and hand painted including the artwork on the box and both the front and back covers come off so you can watch the gears and cams and things on the inside as it works. There's also a spring in this one that makes her arm fling out the way that it does. And This is the chicken lady. The covers on this one I held on with magnets. I use different methods to hold these covers on. And as I said, the box is adorned with original artwork. This next piece is the most complicated piece. And 
this last piece I call the blacksmith. It's the most complicated piece that I've made and it does three distinct things. When I turn the handle the hammer will strike the anvil three times. The blacksmith will lift the rod as if to inspect it. His head will move up and down as if he's inspecting the rod. Then he'll put the rod back down and the hammer will hit again and the whole thing will start over. And here's how it works. Now on this piece the front and back also come off so you can see the gears and levers on the inside while it's in motion. And the front and back on this one slide in, in and out on grooves, in grooves. All hand carved, all hand painted with original artwork and little details like a leather apron and shoestrings made from waxed string. So there they are, three pieces of automata that I've made. Now when I design automata, I usually try to think first of what I would like the piece to do, and then I work out in my head how to make the mechanism to make that action happen. Once I have an idea on how to do it, I make a mock-up from plywood or just something quick that uh, proves the concept, and then I move on to the finished piece of automata. In a future video, I will be making some automata, and if you like, you'll be able to follow along and make your own piece. If you like my videos, please subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.